Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today, I'm presenting the entire lineup of attachments for the Dirt Lock system made by the Detail Guards. They're proudly made and engineered entirely in Canada, my home country, and they're basically equipment and systems to help keep your water clean when you're washing your car. And I'll explain every single one of these items. You're going to see how easy they are to install. They're very inexpensive, yet super high quality. By the way, I want to thank the Detail Guards for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. They've been some proud supporters of the Pan the Organizer YouTube channel and community almost since the very beginning. So in 2017, I was first introduced to them when I was testing their Detail Guards hose guides. So these little babies here, basically they're inserts that go underneath your tires and they prevent your hoses from getting stuck underneath your tires thanks to these rollers here. So very high quality, very well made and they just remove that headache when you're washing your car. By the way guys, all the equipment that I'm presenting today and all the tools, I'll be dropping the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. I'm also going to be giving you a demo towards the end on how easy all these items are to attach. And it all starts with an innovation that they created in 2018. This was released at SEMA and this is a SEMA award winner. This is their dirt lock bucket filter. So you probably know if you've been washing cars for a while, at least watching my channel now, that inside your wash buckets when you're washing your car, it's important to have a water filter. So a system that's going to trap the dirt in the bottom of your bucket. That way you're reducing the amounts of swirls and scratches when you're washing your car. Because imagine all that dirt. If you don't have any filter, it stays into your wash water and you're dunking your mitt or your wash pad or whatever wash media you're using. And well, all that dirt stays in there and you're putting it on your vehicle. So look at the difference with the one by the detail guards. So look at the difference in the engineering. So again, 2018, they released this. This is the basis of their system. It comes with these uh, self-locking grips here or these tabs on the side for a perfect fit inside any traditional wash bucket that you're using whether it's a three gallon four gallon five six or even seven gallon buckets so here for the demo later on I have a three and a half standard um, gallon bucket but I also have my five gallon buckets also my dual wash bucket system if you look inside there well I have dirt locks and I've had them since the beginning I always use those because they're super efficient at what they do once again. So through powerful, clever engineering and fluid dynamics and these like kind of Venturi funnels here in the back, when you're pumping your wash media, your mitt or your scrub pad and you're twisting it and you're pumping all that water, it quickly helps to keep that dirt and debris underneath and it's going to keep it trapped there all along. So your water up top stays clean and fresh and dirt and debris free. So that way you don't have any scratches or swirls when you're washing your vehicle. So this year is amazing. So again, high quality, do not go for any imitations. They're often imitated and never duplicated as we say. Uh, again, these are proudly engineered and made in Canada. Family run operated business, truly nice people. I met them in person, by the way, at CMI in 2018, the biggest car related show in the world, right? Uh, in uh, Las Vegas in the United States. So anything about tools, equipment, car detailing products, all in the same place at the same time. And uh, they made quite a big hit with that SEMA award winner, so that dirt lock. Now, they kept the innovation going because with this, this is the basis of your system. So as your company grows, your detailing company, and you have more needs, or if you're a car detailing enthusiast and you want to go up into their system with more attachments, well, let me show you what they came out with. So another thing that they have is called their scrub wall, 180 or 360. Why? Because essentially these are attachments that all attach, by the way, to that dirt lock. Again, that's your basic system. So these here basically serve as a scrub wall, as the name states, for either your detailing brushes, your detailing pads, or your wash media, your wash mitts, all that kind of stuff. It's a scrub wall. So you have the choice of getting the 180. So that's two panels for half of the dirt lock filter or the 360. So you get two of these packs and then you have a full 360 degree coverage. So let me show you what this looks like. Basically, it's this here. So there are panels, vertical panels that get attached on top of your dirt lock system with these tabs. I'm going to show you that, like I said, in the demo towards the end. And what they do is they serve 
as a scrubbing surface, a vertical scrubbing surface to keep your wash media clean or even your brushes. So imagine you have your wash mitt, right? And you're scrubbing that on the side of the, uh, the panel itself, or you have, let's say your wheel brushes, you can scrub that or any other fender wheel brush, anything that you want, basically you scrub that on there. And what it does, it traps that dirt behind. So with fluid dynamics, it gets pulled and dropped in the bottom. So in the dead space between the uh, dirt lock filter and the scrub wall or underneath the dirt lock bucket filter. So once again, always in an effort to keep your wash water clean and free of any dirt and debris. So that's pretty clever and you're gonna see how that works. Next up, uh, by the way, I have many videos on my channel as well if you wanna see them more in depth. So I have a full review on the uh, dirt lock itself, so the bucket filter. I have a full review on their hose guides. You're gonna see how easy they are to install and remove and how they operate. And next up, another review that I had, uh, well, basically I did a tutorial on how to clean your polishing pads. It's very important to work clean and to remove any gunk and dirt. So what they came out with is something that is not only inexpensive, but again, well-engineered, well-built, all in Canada here. So they call this the pad washer system. So basically it's this handy tool here that has this hook and loop backing and you come and you take your polishing pad, whether it's wool, microfiber, foam, whatever pads you have, anywhere from one inch all the way up to 10 inches. So it fits all your polishing pads. You basically attach it here in the back. In your wash bucket, you're gonna have, of course, your dirt lock filter in the bottom right. That's the basic of your, your basis of your system. And you have this pump attachment that if you look at it from the side, there's this pump system here. So as you're pumping that in the bottom, it shoots up fluid. So technically all you need for the majority of your cleanings is some hot water inside your bucket. And you're basically using this here and you're gonna go ahead and do the motions. So this is hand operated, very, very safe for all your pads. And after a few seconds and a few pumps, you're gonna come up with a clean pad and all you have to do is let it air dry and you're good to go. So for some really gunked and caked old pads, they also have their uh, pad spray cleaner. So this here is like orange or citrus based, if I remember correctly, and a few spritz on the pad itself and then you wash it or you add a bit of this into your solution in the bottom of the, uh, the bucket and you're good to go. So basically this is safe for your pads. It is inexpensive. There are some other pad washers that you can purchase that are three, four times the price. And usually they involve you dunking your polisher in some liquid and using that to spin off all the dirt and grime. Some people I know are not super excited to mix water with electricity. So if, you're, uh, if you don't have the budget or if you don't like that kind of stuff, well, this one here does an efficient job and it is very, very quick to do as you're probably gonna see in my tutorial. So go check that out on how to clean your polishing pads. They're very safe for all pads. It will not damage your pads as well. So that's very well made. So another attachment that they have is the scrub and pump system. So it comes packed like this. So this is their dirt lock attachment, the scrub and pump. It goes in the bottom of your bucket and yup, you guessed it. It attaches directly to the dirt lock. So once again, this is a pump system. So as you can see here with the pumping mechanism, this attaches onto your dirt lock and it has these kind of funnels here. So what you do, you're gonna take your wash media, whether you're using a microfiber wash pad or a microfiber wash mitt, and in the bottom, you're coming and what this does, it shoots liquid again to free up any dirt and debris from your wash media and it's gonna suck it through and pull it down underneath your dirt lock uh, and that way you're gonna trap all that dirt and debris once again in the bottom. And so you're maximizing your chances of having the cleanest water possible or the cleanest wash solution possible uh, before you're doing your contact wash, right? That's very important. Uh, whether you're using a one bucket method, two bucket method, or like me, I use a three bucket method because I have a bucket dedicated for the wheels to don't contaminate the paint. And I have two buckets when I'm doing my hand wash. So one with the clear rinse water and one with the wash solution. So by having all these attachments inside your buckets, you're maximizing your chances of having, again, pure and clean water. 
So now for you guys to see just how easy, oh, this by the way, is uh, how they come with. You can have a two pack of the hose guides or a four pack and pretty much all of their components here come in different colors. As you can tell for their dirt lock filters, you have some white, you have some red, you have some blue, you have some black. They release some limited edition colors sometimes as you saw in my buckets over there. So uh, pretty awesome as far as the tech is concerned. So let me show you how easy this is to set up now. So we're gonna take these attachments. So again, this is a three and a half gallon bucket. So standard bucket, you can have a five gallon bucket and basically anything from three all the way up to seven gallons. This is going to be fine. So you use the basis of your system. Once again, this is the dirt lock filter. It has these side grips self adjusting and self locking. So that way it stays, it stays well in place when you have them in your buckets. And by the way, maintenance on all of these is super easy. There is no maintenance. Once you're done using, you just rinse it off and that's it. You're good for the next time. So I love that low maintenance stuff. So you have your filter, right? That's in the bottom of your bucket. And then you have the choice to get either the 180 degree. So that would be two panels. Or if you want the full 360, you get two packs, so four panels to have a complete 360 degree coverage. So what we're gonna do is basically you clip them on. So this is how easy they are to attach. And they have these tabs here up top, which you line up once you put that in there. And that's how easy it is, bingo. So this would be a 180 degree scrub wall configuration. So you have your, again, vertical panel to scrub your wash media, uh, your wash pad, your wash mitt, or even your brushes. And then you can have the full 360 degree. So it attaches very neatly like this. You click them together and you have your other pad here, your other wall, side of the wall, and they lock in and there you go, look at that. So now you have a full 360 degree coverage. And imagine this, this sits inside your bucket, but you can also add their scrub and pump attachment. So this here, I'm using a contrasting color. As you can tell, hopefully in the bottom, there's three grip tabs that you have. This is how you lift, by the way, your dirt lock out of your, um, out of your bucket. So what you do, you have your tabs here, you click them in, you insert them, and there you go, you lock that in there. And now you have the scrub and pump attachment. As you can tell, it's moving up and down. So say for example, I have my wash mitt. So as I'm washing the vehicle, I come back to my bucket system. So I have the choice now to either use this side here. So the side of the scrub wall, which is fantastic. It's gonna quickly pull away all that dirt and debris, lock it in these dead zones and underneath the uh, dirt lock. And I also have another secure way of removing dirt and debris with a scrub and pump attachment in the bottom. So I'd be pumping some liquid in. So this is gonna inject liquid into the mitt or the wash media and remove any dirt and debris. And with a pumping action, it's pulling all that dirt and debris underneath the system. And once again, this goes inside your wash bucket. There you go. And it fits any standard size three to seven gallon wash bucket. And you have the entire system here to make sure that you have your water clean and filtered at all times. So whether you're getting the 180 degree or full 360 degree, you get your dirt lock as the basic setup. So that's what you build up on depending on, again, your needs, whether you're an enthusiast or a car detailing professionals as your needs grow and you have needs for other stuff. For example, you could have machine polishing services or if you're even machine polishing at home and you wanna quickly uh, quickly clean your, um, your pads. Once again, let me use a contrasting color for you so you can see how simple this is. So you would have your dirt lock system. You take your uh, cleaner system here. This is basically a pump. You're gonna line that in the three tabs. Click that into place. There you go. So this is in your bucket now. So you have this pump attachments, which is gonna shoot some water. You have your pad, you have your tool, and you're cleaning it right. You're pumping, cleaning fluid. You're turning it 90 degrees as you're pumping. Use a few different angles. And after a few seconds, your pad is clean. You would take it away, set it face down on a microfiber towel or whatever to let it air dry and you're done. But the cool nifty thing about this is when you're done, check this out. It is super easy to remove. So you unlock these tabs here in the back. 
Once again, it is very simple maintenance because all you have to do is basically rinse this off with water and you're good to go. But look what they've thought of for storing it. So there's three tabs here on the system attachment. So you would lock that into place just like so. And then you have this part here that you can attach on your wall or somewhere in your shop and you would put your handle on there and there you go. Look how easy and nice this is to store together and it's ready for your next use. And by the way, the pad washer system is another SEMA award winner. So that just goes to show the innovation and the time and effort that they put into making their products doesn't go unnoticed. So I like this clever thinking, this clever engineering of the uh, items that they have and basically everything, once again, engineered, made in Canada, super high quality, very inexpensive. Again, I remind you that all the links to all these tools and products will be dropped in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Let me know, by the way, if you've been using any of the uh, dirt lock system attachments, I wanna know your feedback. They always read comments from my viewers and uh, it's very important. So drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, did you use, by the way, their hose guides as well? If you guys haven't discovered this, it's gonna be a game changer when you're washing your car, your hoses or pressure washer hose, or even your just standard garden hose will never get stuck underneath your tires again. So very proud uh, that I was able to partner up with the uh, detail guards for this video. Once again, some high quality stuff, family owned. Uh, don't get fooled by imitations, get the real deal. And again, very, very inexpensive and available in many different countries around the world. Check the links in the description. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the thumbs up button, like, subscribe to my channel as well, and keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.